welcome to Barcelona for the final and title deciding round of the 2018 International GT Open. It's a three-way title fight with Mikel Mack coming into the weekend with just a three-point advantage in his Lose It Racing Ferrari over Fran Rueda and Andres Saravia and the Teo Marti Motorsport BMW. With Imperial Air Racing Lamborghini of Giro Mull and Giovanni Venturini still in the mix. The Pro-Am and Am titles are also still to be decided, so we should be in for a fantastic weekend of motorsport. Let's have a look at the very best of the action. As the lights changed, it was Tom Onslow Cole who swept into an early lead as the field charged down towards Turn 1 with Fabrizio Cristani and then Damiano Fiorvranti following through. Behind there was plenty of jostling, but fortunately no to strike in trouble to Mikel Mack. Sort of out defending his ground in the early stages. Also making good progress was Marco Ciocci. Is he fighting with Jerome Bull? Fran Red and Andres Saravia, it was to be a frustrating afternoon. Always in the thick of the action, but able to quite make the progress that they'd want to. Ciocci and uh, Monterney getting a little bit too close for comfort at times. As fortunately, others getting a little bit too close for comfort with the gravel track. Charles Vanelli bringing out the safety car. That whittled away on Slows Cole's advantage. And then post pit stops, Valentin Pierberg did a fine job of fending off Riccardo Agostini and Andrea Rizzoli, but eventually he had to concede to the pressure and allow the two Lamborghinis through. But whilst it was Agostini who led on the road, a five-second penalty incurred at the start of the race, and effectively it was Rizzoli on aggregate time who had the advantage. Behind there was some frenetic action as the field were bunched with just a two-lap sprint to the line after a late safety car. A crucial move from Mikel Jensen, Alessandro Pierguidi, meaning that there's Andrea Rizzoli and Damiano Fiorvranti celebrate victory as Mikel Mack, who carries an eight-point lead in the championship, into the final race of the season. Jubilation time for the Ombra Racing team, victorious in Barcelona. I am so happy about this victory because it's my first in this year and this is my first time also with my teammate Andrea Rizzoli. I am really happy about this race and enjoy everything. Andrea Rizzoli was a winner in GTS class in the GT Open some years ago. Back today and first. Yeah, it's uh, for sure. It's uh, fantastic to be here after so many years. Grazie. And uh, nothing, come here and, and win. No? It's incredible. And uh, it's due to the fantastic job of this guy and uh, the team and everybody who's supporting us. And, uh, so as the lights change, it's Fran Rueda who led away from a pole position. Giovanni Venturini as they charge down towards turn one. Sandro Pierguidi and Marcio Basso did battle through the opening sequence. Pierguidi was able to jump ahead of the BMW. That then gave him a chance to challenge as Basso pirouetted into the wall and that brought out the safety car. It deprived Rueda as the opportunity to stretch the field and an inspired Venturini was then able to find his way past and into the lead. Behind. I know your Branti, a little bit over ambitious into turn 10 and into the side of Lorenzo Berard Viega, which eventually resulted in both of them retiring from the race. Far from alone as Jerome Mull and Andrea Montermini also entangled, as did Matthias Lutowski and Mario the shooter over at turn one. But at the front of the field, it was Rick Broikers and Mikel Mack doing battle for the victory. Broikers determined to take the win to the inside of Mikel Mack. But Mack in second position, the head of the BMW, was still poised to take the title as Adrian Zauk and Andrea Montermini also tangled late on. So it was a win for Rick Broikers and Riccardo Agostini. But second position, enough to crown Mikel Mack as the 2018 International GT Open champion. It's always uh, nice to end the championship like this with, uh, with a victory. Uh, we've been a bit unlucky uh, the first races. That's why we 
we missed so many points and uh, yeah, could have been better for sure. But uh, we always got a really good speed and qualifying races. Uh, so yeah, we we won uh, in the end uh, the, the team classification, which is uh, yeah uh, a good thing. But uh, today was uh, really really cool, uh, a good start from uh, from myself and uh, then. Uh, an amazing pace from Rick uh, during his yeah. stint. So absolutely, Rick, a very nice move after a close duel with uh, with the champion. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. Uh, I mean, yesterday we crossed the line first, but we had a penalty, uh, so it feels extra amazing to win today. Uh, I know I had to push, and I saw the Ferrari coming uh, coming close to me, so it was difficult to overtake. But on the end, uh, we made a surprising move, and uh, we finished first. I did not do it alone. I had the Lutzig Racing together with me, Alessandro Perguidi and Marco, Marco Ciocci. They are all the champions uh, and I'm uh, looking forward to celebrate later today with all the team.